بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب ضدن علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین انٹیگریشن لیکچر فور پارٹ ٹو بی آنسٹ ان دس لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس دی یوز آف بائی پارٹس ٹوائس انٹیگریشن بائی پارٹس ویل وین دی فنکشن آف یو has power 2 then use the by parts twice like in this example this function u has power 2 therefore use the by parts twice example number 2 since this x has power 2 and this is the function of u so use the by parts twice here as well in example number 3 Since this ln x has whole power टू therefore use the by parts twice. Now let's discuss the way how to use the by parts twice. Since this is u and dv is dx, therefore we always differentiate u to get du. This is the way to differentiate this composite ln function. First make power coefficient, subtract power by 1 and then differentiate this ln. And this is the simplified form of du. Well, we always integrate dv to get v, therefore this is the answer of v. We need these three boxes 1, 2 and 3 for the substitution in the formula of by parts. well this is the formula of integration by parts in this formula make sure you substitute everything correctly so this is u this is v this is v and this is du now get the simplified form of this this is the simplified form of this integral 2 ln x dx now see again we have to use by parts here now let's consider this integral well uh, you can consider this integral with negative sign this will make the calculation simple uh this is u ln x is u and dv is 2 dx so the simplified form of du is 1 upon x dx and the simplified form of v is 2x this is the by part formula okay i'm eliminating this negative sign so i'm using this so this is u this is v this is v and this is du the simplified form of this function is 2 dx now we need to just integrate this 2 dx thing and the answer is 2x now substitute this answer into equation 1 this is the equation number 1 now substitute the answer here so by substituting the answer here we have this answer this is a way to use the by parts twice Now let's discuss one more example of by parts. X square sine x. Here we use by parts twice. Because this is u, and the function of u has power two. So this means use by parts twice. well this is the first time we are using by part this is u <coughs> x square is u and this sin x dx is dv so we always in differentiate u to get du this is du and this is v now this is the by parts formula now substitute everything carefully so u is x square v is this v is this and u is this I already have told you that we use by parts to eliminate the product of the functions. See, we have 
this product with x power 2 now if you look at this function now this has product with power 1 we use by parts to eliminate x so again we have to use by parts here to eliminate this x this x so now first simplify the function which is before the sign of integral S apply limits here get the simplified form of this and this is a simplified form of the integral now we have to use by parts here now consider this function here so u is 2x and du is 2dx and dv is cos x dx and v is sin x now substitute everything into by parts formula this is u this is v this is minus sign of the formula this is v du and limits and limits also also here so by substituting everything into the formula we have got this thing c we have eliminated x the x has been eliminated now we just have two and now we can simply integrate sin x that is why we use by parts twice to eliminate x uh, from the product therefore the integral of sin is negative cos and this is the final answer of this integral now substitute this answer into equation 1 to get the final answer and this is what we had to show see we had x square here and at the first time we remove x square and we got x I mean x square became x when we use by parts at the first time and when we use by parts on the second time then look at this integral the x this x has been removed and that is why we use by parts twice to eliminate this x square well uh, if you want to check the solution again see uh, the first time by parts and this is the second time by parts and this is the final solution pi square minus 4 anyway uh, two examples are enough to understand this by parts thing now you should practice more questions so that you will be able to manage your time during the exam because this uh, second uh, twice by parts method takes a lot of time so make sure you practice at least five or six questions so that you can easily solve those type of questions in your exam uh, i will discuss the remaining uh, topics of integration in my next lecture inshallah uh, this is the advice for everyone including me we should be fair uh, to everyone Allah Hafiz